How to make natural antibiotics if the world is dead, pharmacies are empty, and every scratch is a death sentence. Cities are silent, medicine shelves are bare, and that nasty infection is creeping in like an unwelcome guest. You need help, nature's own chemical warfare. Start with scavenging garlic from forgotten gardens or wild patches. Smash those cloves with the heel of your boot or a rock. Release the allison, your fiery bacterial assassin. Throw chopped onions and crush thyme into boiling water for a bitter brew that might sting your throat but fights off microbes hard. Find raw honey, yes, the sticky stuff from abandoned pantries or wild hives. Smear it like jelly on wounds or sip it slow to help fight infection. It's packed with hydrogen peroxide and sugars that suck moisture from bacteria, leaving them gasping. Don't forget the bitterness of dried oregano or powdered clove. Rub them in wounds or brew them into teas. They pack Carvacrol and Eugenol, the microscopic hitmen. Boil water, toss in what you've got, herbs, garlic, honey, whatever. Let it stew till the kitchen smells like a witch's den. Your concoction isn't perfect medicine, but better than berry juice when the apocalypse bites. Science? These natural antibiotics punch bacteria with chemical weapons evolved over millennia. Allicin from garlic disrupts bacterial enzymes. Honey's peroxide and acidity dehydrate invaders. These aren't lab-made pills, but in a world gone dark, they're your best friend. If the wound stops screaming and the fever backs off, congrats, you're not yet dinner for infection. If you survive, that's science. Use it wisely or don't and survive on dumb luck. Welcome to desperate medicine post-apocalyptic style.